Hi, and welcome back to the series teaching you how to get involved with WoW PvP and how to enjoy it. In this shorter episode, we're going to talk a little bit about what are the roles in PvP, where they are best played, and what they each do. First of all, I'm going to talk about the most common role in PvP, which is probably DPS or damage. Every single class in the game has at least one DPS spec, and all of them work well in their own way. Each role in PvP also has what I like to think of as a secondary role, but I'm only going to talk about the DPS secondary roles today. When playing DPS in PvP, be it Arena or Battlegrounds, there's always multiple things you can do, and multiple things you can choose to focus on. For example, a Rogue is a very good support DPS. It has a lot of stuns and can silence and peel for their teammates, and can also put out a lot of damage when it's needed. Or on the other hand, a warrior is a good pressure DPS. A warrior can pump out a lot of consistent damage paired with high mobility and also has a very high burst. And last of all is what I like to call a hybrid DPS. This is one of the better types of DPS if you're looking to carry twos or such. An example of this would be a druid or a monk. These classes can not only pump out a lot of damage, but at the same time they can heal and peel for themselves very effectively. The next role is the role of a healer. This is pretty self-explanatory. In this role, you'll be healing your teammates from enemy attacks. However, as a healer, your positioning and the enemy's positioning is very important to keep in mind at all times. As a healer, you will a lot of the time be used in CC chains on the enemy as well. For example, using a paladin's hammer of justice to stun an enemy in order to score a kill, instead of saving it to use on someone that is attacking you. If you want to excel as a healer in PvP, the two things you want to keep in mind are positioning and cooldowns, both yours, your teammates, and your enemies. The last role, and probably the least common role, is the tank. This role is seen in Battlegrounds and is used to hold flags and defend bases. If you're going to play this role seriously, you would want to side your activities with some PvE because gearing your character specifically for tanking will limit your effectiveness in Arena. When tanking in a battleground, it is not uncommon for you to be left alone at your base. Most commonly, you will be left at your home base, for example, Mine or Lighthouse in Battle for Gilneas. Here, you will be effective to hold a flag at at least two or more players for long enough for your teammates to arrive. In a team fight at a base, you should be spinning the flag. That is, using your AoE abilities to hit everyone around the flag so they cannot take it. In an offensive situation, you would be doing the same, but also trying to capture the flag when no one on the enemy team has begun capturing it. In a capture the flag map, you will obviously be holding the flag with your healers and capturing it when possible. Well, that's just a very basic insight into the roles in PvP. There are still much more depth into each role, but this should be enough for you to either choose what you want to do or understand what your role is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next episode.